What's up you guys, Graham McCartney, American Ninja Warrior here, and I want to teach you guys how to do a lache. If you don't know what a lache is, it's when you essentially jump with your arms. It looks like this. Now we utilize a lache whenever the distance is further than we can reach with our arms in static movement. A lot of tips that go into this, but I'm gonna give you a crash course, so here it is. This goes for any skill level. Maybe you've never done one before, I got a progressive way you can learn from right where you're at. So don't worry about that, just follow along. Any skill level, from kids to adults, you can give this a try. So before you get into this, it's a good idea to have some pull-ups under your belt, but even if you can't do 10 pull-ups, which I would recommend, it's okay because this isn't actually pulling, it's swinging. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is your grip. So the idea is not to lock your wrist in place. You want it to move your hand freely around the bar, not holding too tight with your hand. The most important thing you need to remember is on your backswing, in your weightlessness, re-grip your hand. Take from the back and rotate it forward in that weightlessness moment so you can get a better grip before you swing through. If you don't, you have a high likelihood of peeling out and that's where people get most injured when doing laches. The first thing you need to do is to learn how to build up a swing. So when you grab the bar, kick your legs forward, letting your body swing back and forth. On CrossFit, you're using your chest to swing through, but in this movement, I want your legs to do the drive from your hips. So you build up this swing. So first thing you wanna do is get used to swinging on a bar before you even try to throw towards the other one. A technique I like to teach is knees, hips, and chest. If you drive your knees up, then let your hips follow and throw your chest over, kind of like a reverse worm, that's how you move to come off the bar. My biggest pro tip is to take the bar and throw it behind. When you do your first lache, you don't actually have to get to the other bar. At first, you can build a swing, let go, remembering, throw that bar behind you, and as you do, land on your feet on the ground. Slowly make that distance further and further when you land, like this. Build your swing, re-grip in the back, and then just land on the ground. And try to land feet upright, standing tall, not falling backwards. If you're falling backwards, that means you need to throw the bar more to bring your chest over. Now, once you've furthered your distance and you're getting close to the other bar, just try to touch it at first, like this. Build your swing, re-grip in the back, touch the bar. So now you've lacheed in front of you, you've reached out and touched the bar, now it's time to hold on to it. Remember though, when you go for that lache, as you grab the other side, you could peel out. That's the second most dangerous time for a peel out, so either have a mat underneath you for safety, or just get a good solid grab when you get there. Kick, regroup in the back, throw, grab and hold on. So remember you guys, this is just a crash course on how to do a lache. If you got any further questions, comment below. I'll go down there and answer all those. But there's different kinds of laches. You can do a sideways lache on something like a wing nut. Or maybe instead of throwing from a static bar, you're going to a moving object or something you gotta grab in a different way. I can teach about all those topics, but you gotta comment below and let me know what you wanna learn about. So I just hope to teach you guys everything I've learned from being an American Ninja Warrior. So remember, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys wanna learn, but good luck out there, be safe, and hopefully you'll go full send on your first lache.